But one of the things you've got to do, if you want to work in the footwell area of the transducer, obviously is to remove the pedal. So we'll move the pedal out the way, and that allows us to work in here. Okay, if you have a peek inside here now, you can see what I was talking about with the fiberglass washer, the foam which is underneath it sealing the hole, and that holds the transducer from the bottom in place. But what we'll do now is we'll loosen this, we'll push it in and tighten it up and show you how we've done it. All right, easy as that. What size ratchet is that? Uh, number eight. Number eight ratchet. of most guys problems the, the shaft is a little bit too short <laughs> needs to extend his shaft so that he gets it all the way in <laughs> loosen the bolt it allows the transducer to fall out so we'll push it out Boop. Ba -dum, there it is okay so there's the transducer with the rubber the foam piece on it and uh, specially engineered little component that we did to make it fit. So what we'll do now is Travis will turn it around and push it in. Okay, so you put the, push the foam on. Obviously when we tighten it, it pulls it right up. Okay, so what you'll see is the foam, like I said, allows two things. Number one, it seals the scupper hole. And number two, the foam is soft enough so that it doesn't crimp or push on the cable too much. So the cable basically stays there. We put this on. Hands of steel, bro. <laughs> okay, there we go. Tight. If you look on, yeah. the, if you look on the bottom, where the transducer is on the bottom now, it's tight, tight, tight. Not going anywhere. There's absolutely no play. So the tighter you tighten this bolt, the less chance of there's any play or movement. So it's simply just tightening this enough, and it's perfectly in place. So that's it. That's a a simple transducer installation on a Fusion with a little kit we've made. You can see it took us probably three minutes, you know, from the time we did the nuts and bolt. And that's literally it. If you have a problem with it, you can remove it. Yeah, but that's because this is a cat. Okay, so what you'll see is uh, where the cable runs on the kayak, too, there are two little fittings that we've used. These are actually supplied by Garmin for the transducer installation. So we're basically utilizing what we do. Firstly, we loosen the front. Uh, screw on where the, the rail, the adjustable rail goes, and we put a little case, so like plastic cable, or well, this, like light steel, I suppose. So re screw it back in, and that little clip holds the cable in place. Okay? And then obviously to neaten up here and to make it obviously nicely, a little bit look a bit sealed better with a nice hole, this comes in the box as well. Behind it, we push the, the, the plug through, and then we put the cap or the cover on. So that completes the little installation and makes it look quite neat and, and simple. So the chosen method of installation on this Fusion was simply just using the Garmin bracket. You know, clips to this bracket, clips on there, so what we did is we just utilized the base plate, clips on, put a drainage hole, and the cables come through and plug it in and off you go. So that's a very simple installation. Obviously the other option of an installation on the lid is the flush mount fish finder lid which you see in a lot of our other videos where the cables would plug into the back of the unit but this head unit is, is built into a flush mount piece. So how it fits on the lid can be slightly different but you, as you can see it's very very simple. Some people might ask is internally where do we put all the excess cable? Um, so in front of the footwell where you see where this hook goes for your pedal, the elastic. We put a little, there's a little piece of Velcro with a loop and we put it onto the back of this and you neatly fold up the cable and everything and you Velcro it onto this little, into this little Velcro loop that we supply here. And that makes 
the cables and everything sit neat and out of your way. So it's actually right on the front of the top of your footwell out the way. So not only is it neat on the outside, but it's also very neat on the inside as well. And that's it.